What up everyone? Just wanted to do a quick update on my 29 gallon saltwater tank. So let's get into it. First things first, tank used to be right there. I uh, put my TV back um, only because I wanted to get a sump and obviously I can't have a sump if there's a bunch of drawers there. So my uh, TV slash computer screen is back there. Uh, <clears throat> now I have somewhat of a pretty bad diatone uh, bloom going on so bear with that. It's a little ugly but I got this sick little snail down there. It's like a, uh, I forget what they call it, a clam, clam snail or something like that. He burrows in the sand a lot and he just kind of like scavenges. Um, he's pretty cool. I'll try to get some better footage of him. Um, I'll, I'll play with the, <clears throat> the blue and the white lights to see if I can get a better up close look at him. Uh, back to the tank. Hammer coral, super happy, super healthy. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's gonna split off into two heads because uh, it actually fell off of where it, where it is. And I was looking at the bottom of it and I was like, hey, it looks like it's branching off into two heads. So that's, that's pretty cool. Um, so the tentacles are getting pretty fat. They're definitely getting longer and it's getting an overall like a, like a bushier look. So that's good, right? So he's happy. Uh, just got this green star polyp maybe like two weeks ago. Um, there's, a, there's a hermit crab crawling over it, which is why in the center, like right there-ish, um, he closed up a little bit. Otherwise, those uh, polyps are usually uh, open. But the polyps are starting to get <clears throat> really long. Like they were, they were a lot shorter when I first got it. So polyps are growing out and getting, uh, it's getting like a shaggier look. So it's probably going to start to uh, spread out soon. Which, uh, as some people know, green star polyps can kind of like take over so I may have to rethink his uh, location before it starts spreading everywhere. There's a nice dog hair that I just saw floating by. Sorry about that. And then my most recent addition is this little green zoanthid. Uh, I think it's a green, well yeah it's I mean it's definitely green but I don't know if that's what it's called. It's just a green zoanthid. But a little baby zoanthid. Um, it's gonna be exciting to see the growth of that guy. And uh, once again, as I'm talking about these uh, corals, I'll you know I'll re-record footage and play with the uh, the blue and the white channels to see if I can get some better uh, footage. Sorry about the blurriness. And I'm not sure if I talked about this in my last video. I'm pretty sure I didn't. My friend's uh, little nano tank crashed, and he had a dotty back, um, which he gave me, and he is now hiding. You've probably been able to see him as I've been talking. Uh, he's around here somewhere. Every time I go up close, he, he hides, and then he slowly comes out. Uh, but in the meantime, I have a turtle snail up there. He's super cool. He likes to keep all the rocks clean. Uh, he just goes around and around. I like, I've like. i never seen him on the sand. Like He pretty much stays only on the uh, on the rock. But whatever, that's, he's, you know, he's part of the cleanup crew. So, let's see, anything else to talk about? Oh yes, yeah, so, have the new stand. Super dark, you can't see it there. I wanna put in a 10 gallon sump with a protein skimmer. The only issue is this tank is not reef ready, meaning it's not drilled. So, uh, my options would be to get a additional 29 gallon tank, have that one drilled, and then move everything over to that tank. And that is just going to be a huge chore, big pain in the in the butt. Um, so you get an overflow box, overflow box, which unfortunately are like super expensive if you if you want a good one. However, I noticed with this uh, stand, let me turn on a, a light here so you can see. There's like one inch of clearance between this uh, tank and the, uh, the wall. So if I wanted to get an overflow box, I'd probably have to move the stand out into the room. And as you can see, there's only like three feet between the uh, tank and the bed. So now I'm kind of between a rock and a hard place. And uh, there's the dotty back kind of chilling. And I scared him off a little bit. So now I'm like, I don't know what to do. So maybe now getting another 29 gallon and drilling it will be the smart thing to do because obviously an overflow box is not going to fit in there. I'm not sure what to do. So if you have any advice there, uh, any wisdom, any success, failures with overflow boxes and sumps, I would love to hear it um, so, I can so I can learn. Um, and let's see. That's pretty much it for this tank. Um, I'll be doing an update soon on my 29 gallon fresh water. Uh, I haven't shown that in a while. Uh, so that's all I got for today, guys. If you like my tank and you think it looks good, I would really appreciate a thumbs up. If you want to see the progression of my tanks over time, 
Uh, I do weekly videos on both my salt water and my fresh water, so hit the subscribe button. I would appreciate that too. And as always, if you have any comments, questions, advice, concerns, whatever, I try to respond to all the comments. Uh, I really like interacting with the people that are watching my videos, so drop a comment, whatever's on your mind, and stay tuned for the next video. Thanks for watching, guys.